I'm going to start by using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC to prime my eyelids. For this look, I'm using Morphe Shadows and this palette is the 350 palette that I'm completely obsessed with. I'm using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush along with the lightest shade in the palette to set my eyes. To start with the shadows, I'm going to use the Sigma E40 brush and take the shade in the Morphe 350 palette and I'm just going to start building up color into the crease. I'm also going to focus these shades on the outer corner and the inner corner of the eye as well. So I'm basically going darker within the shades of the palette and using the same brush to deepen up the crease and blend it out. And the best way to blend is to use windshield wiper motions and circular motions. So now I'm taking my Morphe M518 brush and it's just a smaller blending brush and I'm going to take the darker shades and place that deeper into the crease. Again, make sure to focus these shades into the crease as well as the outer and the inner corner because later on we'll be applying a pop of color just in the center. I'm going to go back with my Sigma E40 brush and just blend this all out. Now I'm going to be using my Morphe 35W palette and I'm going to take the black shade and I'm taking my Morphe M505 brush. I'm going to be building up the color from the outer corner into the crease and then the inner corner and I'm going to make sure to do this very carefully. I'm taking the light shimmery gray shade from the palette and I'm taking my Sigma C brush and I'm just applying that to the center of the lid and blending it outward. So I was fortunate enough to get a package from Benefit who reached out to me and I feel very honored. So I wanted to demo the products that were sent to me and the um, their real push up liner was one of them and I know that some people have trouble using this so I figured I would demo how I like to use it because I love the formula. So I just twist at the bottom to get the product out and then I like to put the product on the back of my hand and then go and dip into it like you see on camera here. And then I like to wipe the um, sides of the brush and kind of use it like um, an eyeliner brush, an angled brush. So for the pop of glitter, I'm using NYX um, Crystal Liner in Aqua and I'm just applying it over the pop of color right in the center of the lid and just above the eyeliner. And then I'm going to use my Benefit Their Real Mascara, which is one of my favorite mascaras ever. So now I'm using a makeup wipe to clean under my eyes and I'm also going to use this to clean up the eyeliner and sharpen the edge. To prime I'm using my Benefit Professional Primer and I'm just applying it to the T-zone. And then I'm using my LA Girl Cosmetics Orange Concealer to cancel out the darkness under my eyes and around my nose. For foundation I used my Makeup Forever HD foundation. And then I concealed under my eyes with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm just blending it out with a Sigma brush. To highlight, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Concealer. And I'm just going to apply it right under my eyes. And I'm also going to kind of bring it up towards the nose to kind of counter um, contour, I guess and um, the chin, the forehead, and then above the lips as well. 
And to blend that out, I'm going to be using a Morphe G2 brush. I'm going to set right under the eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder and the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. And then I'm taking the LA Girl Cosmetics uh, Concealer in Beautifully Bronze, I believe it's called. And I'm just going to contour, cream contour, right um, under my cheekbones, around the forehead, and then the nose. I'm using the Sigma F86 to blend all of this out. Quick debut by Matthew. Now I'm using the Benefit Benetint to use as a cream blush. And at first I applied dots and blended it out, but I found it's a lot better if you just literally scribble it around in circles and then blend it out that way. But um, and then I used a Duo Fiber brush to blend it out further. And then my camera stopped recording, but I used the Benefit WhatsApp highlighter as a base. And I literally used it straight out of the tube and applied it right onto my face. I applied it right on top of the cheekbones, on the tip of the nose, the chin, the cupid's bow, and a little bit um, around the forehead. And then here I'm using the um, High Beam by Benefit, and I'm just dotting it on the same areas, right above the WhatsApp highlighter, and then I blend that out. And I think this is really beautiful. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and a beauty blender to bake right around the eyes and the frown lines as well. And then I'm taking my Benefit Hula bronzer and a Sigma F05 brush and I'm just going to use this to contour and bronze around the face. So now I'm taking my Morphe blush palette and these two shades and I'm using the Sephora angled brush and then I'm just going over the cream blush that we applied earlier. So I'm going back with my Sigma tapered highlighter brush just to wipe off the um, translucent powder that I applied earlier. And now I'm taking my Becca Cosmetics highlighter and champagne pop and my Morphe M501 to highlight. <laughs> Sorry about my dogs. So now I'm going back into the Morphe 350 palette and I'm just going to take a Sigma pencil brush and apply the crease colors under the uh, lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back into the 35W palette and take the black with a Sigma flat top brush and then just apply that right under the eye and blend it out with the pencil brush. And I'm going to use the NARS eyeliner in my waterline and then I'm going back into the Their Real Mascara for my lower lashes. And then I'm taking this champagne gold shade with a pencil brush and I'm applying that into the inner corners for a highlight. For my brows, I'm using my Benefit Browsings in Dark and I'm going to first brush them out with a spoolie. And then I'm going to use the gel side and my Morphe B45 brush, which is by the way the best brush ever. It was like two bucks. So I'm just using the gel side to fill in kind of the sparse areas of my eyebrow, which is a lot. Um, and then I'm going to use the powder side with the same brush and just um, go over that and kind of set it and darken it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with the spoolie and brush everything out to blend it a little bit. And my camera stopped recording again, of course, but I used my NARS lipstick in Anna, and I just literally just used a lipstick. No lip liner, no gloss, nothing else. So that's all for this look. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let me know what you want to see next. Thank you.